Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here. We're going to look at how the fossil record completely overturns the entire theory of evolution. Evolution does not exist, never happened. Now, microevolution or adaptability within a species does, but genetic walls exist. That there is no transmorphological way for one species to become another species. And nowhere is this seen more than in the fossil record. Now, in Darwin's day, he said, well, I know the fossil record is maybe the biggest thing against what what I'm presenting here, but we propose there's going to be a lot more fossils found, and it's going to prove what I said. It just didn't happen. What you have at the lowest strata, and this is very simplistic, there's a lot of nuances here, this is just basic stuff, is you have what's known as the Cambrian Explosion at the lowest strata. And the reason they call it the Cambridge explosion is because every species that we find on Earth today is found here, purported to be four and a half billion years, blah, blah, which it's not. Um, and it's fully formed, fully filled, nothing halfway. Now, about 70 to 80% of the things you find here are no longer in existence. They're extinct, but they're in no way emblematic of partial life forms. So whether it's flora, fauna, animals, you know, any type of reptiles, mammal, whatever you find here, you find fully formed, fully filled. And so there's no precursor to that. Now, starting with the Cambrian explosion on up, the uh, paleographical, you know, uh, fossils, you find no transitional life forms. No transitional life forms, none. Even uh, like Dr. Colin Patterson of uh, University of Chicago, I think it was, many, they would say every even suspected uh, life form, transitional life form, you could fit on this table that's in front of me here. That everything that's expected. So of the many billions of fossils, billions of fossils, there is no chain. There is no chain. You know, they talk about missing links. There's not just missing links. There's missing chains. Evolution is just a theory that came out in the 1800s that could give people a belief system that they did not have to believe in God and the God of the Bible. It was meant to destroy belief in the God of the Bible, but it is totally and utterly devoid of any evidence at all. Another thing about the supposed fossil record is the different strata is there's basically almost nowhere on earth that the different strata lay, layer like Cretaceous and all of this actually exist in what scientists would say in the proper order. What you constantly find is strata that is out of place. Supposedly out of place. And another fascinating thing is the circular reasoning of how they even date strata is they date the strata based upon the different animals or flora, fauna, life forms, bacteria, whatever the case is, that's in that strata. So how, so how they date the strata is by what life forms are in it and how they date the life forms or what strata it's in. And so all of this is just a disproving of Darwinian evolutionary theory. Now, Darwinian evolutionists, honest ones, see all of this. They've come up with punctuated equilibrium. They've come up with neo-Darwinism. They've come up with all types of mechanisms. The one thing they will not allow for is the teaching of creation, which is the most obvious. It fits all the facts. It's you've got birds, you've got... Uh, uh, 
flowers, you've got bees all coming into being at one time. You know, mankind, mammals, it takes oxygen, plants take carbon dioxide. So obviously we're going to have to be created very simultaneously for this to be uh, happening. For all of the different gestational periods and the reproduction of species, you're going to have to have very specific or specificity in male and female in perfection really in having not just for different uh, seed to to uh, gestate but a place for that gestation for the nutritional needs for that gestation for the bones the hips everything to be in proper place so male and female even for procreation of species is going to have to be just absolutely perfect and simultaneous and that's the reason you know uh gold and others perpetuated punctuated equilibrium that every 50,000 years ago hopeful monsters just sprang through either mutative processes or some processes we don't know about and this is how you get around it but then if that happened that's that's very much like a spontaneous creation so the fossil record still says no as Dwayne Gish would say evolution didn't happen God bless. I love you. The Bible did happen. Believe that. Because if he's right in Genesis 1, he's right in Revelation 22. There's a heaven, there's a hell. You need to get right and go to heaven. God bless. I love you in Jesus' name.